Hey guys! Alright, I'm a little late on starting, but we're here and we're gonna continue our run with uh, Like a Dragon, Yakuza. So, last time, well, we got abandoned. <laughs> our mob family does not like us anymore. It's kind of a sack. It kind of sucks, really, and they did it in the worst way possible. It seems like they were trying to kill us, though I have some suspicions on that, but we'll get into that later. We had to kind of adapt to the homeless life, and we, this is where we made, uh, met our friend, uh, I think his name was Nanba? I want to say Nanba, but uh, I might be mixing him up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I just realized I got a, a couple of... Uh, you know those pricker bushes? <laughs> or rather, prickly seeds? Sometimes they get caught in your clothes. Apparently I got that from when I was doing my poker walk. Jeez. I just nearly cut myself. Hang on. <laughs> Not the way I wanted to start this, but... Okay. Let me just get them out of here. Of course, I don't have a very good way of detaching them. They got stuck on my uh, pants. And I nearly uh, scraped my freaking thigh. Come on. Anyway, so we're taking on some odd jobs around town for the moment. Uh, the first one was we had to do some protection at a bar. Uh, turned out that it was another Yakuza-like mob place. Uh, They're trying to move in on some territory or whatever. And our lovely hero... Yeah, it's Nanba. A lovely hero, Ichiban, here, decided to be all cheerful. He's like, it's not worth your trouble. You don't need to do this. You have better things to do and other funny things. And, well, it worked because he's a weird, happy-go-lucky guy. And, yeah, it's Nanba. Um, off stream, I played a bunch of shogi and realized I suck at shogi. So then I just did the puzzle versions and I got some points and whatnot. Yeah, I played Puzzle Shogi. I did all the puzzle stuff and grinded up a couple, little bit of points. I don't... I have a decent amount, but I don't have enough for everything. I don't know what's worth anything here, though. Like, I got beetles and whatever here. I got 29,000, it seems. But, you know, look at this. Attack booster, mental booster. They, they would cost half of that. So, I'm not sure exactly what I'll be buying with these Shogi points. But I'll think about it. I can't even get the absolute shield either because you have to grind them and it's just like, ugh. There's a fast way of grinding them by just repeating the puzzles over and over, but you only get like 150 points each time and I was not willing to do that. So, yeah. This is what we have for now. I'll probably come back and buy something later. There's no, not going to be any more puzzles, Shogis, and I don't like ranked or challenged because I suck. Anyway, let's get on going. Oh, we gotta go the other way. The Shire is this way. Anyway, as usual, I'm gonna run into people and say, out of my way, I'm important. Uh, what is my pal- oh my, I don't have it. He's gonna tell me about- Yeah, finding good shit on the ground, we know. Oh, can I- Treasure hunt, thank you. Ten whole yen! Oh, we're rich. Any others? Mm. Uh, I need to go this way, though. Out of my way, I'm important. Also, last time while I was trying to explore, uh, I ran into some high-level enemies that was not worth fighting, and I ended up using my one full revive I had on me. Mr. Obvious. You haven't seen anyone with that kind of hair before. I'm sure you already know this, but... You're in Yokohama. Ah, you're an information dude. Got it. There she is, that cool badass lady from the bar that we were playing protection with. Oh, you're here. Morning, ma'am. Get up. We're closing for a few hours. <laughs> hey! Tell everyone up there to leave! 
What time is it? Let me sleep a bit more, Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. Oh god, are we cleaners? Is that what we're gonna do? Are we gonna be cleaning this place? Ugh. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Call girls, got it. I'm saying the polite, much more polite and outdated term. Really? Damn, it's too damp to even dust this thing. Hey, Jiban. Can you deal with these tissues? Seriously? You do it. It's your job. <sighs> Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. You're a nurse! <laughs> I mean, I know it's not blood, you but... You get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. Ah. Attention all Riverside business owners. This is Sota Kume, president of Bleach Japan's Yokohama chapter. Bleach Japan! got to go! Get out of Eijin Cho! Maybe get rid of the drugs first. It's all the ragged. Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! Get out of Eijin Cho! Eh, I'm indifferent to prostitution. It's Bleach Japan. <laughs> Not my type of thing, obviously, it's but... It's a non-profit group. <laughs> what you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, Bleaching the Gray Zones White. You know how some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. Mm. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Rio Aoki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo. Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Comrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant, but you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea, you pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is, a brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. <laughs> and once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors! You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At 
best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother! I never minded it! Huh? <laughs> uh, keeping your big mouth open again. You all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is! Get ready to catch! Oh, wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! <laughs> ah. It's true, he did get raised in a brothel. That was an established brothel, if I remember it. Not bad, Ichiban. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, some of the overdramatic gestures just make me go like, oh, this is goopy. You can find items in location. Yeah, we know treasure hunt. Item boxes in your hideout. Access these boxes to store, take out items. Okay, that's what those are. It's been two or three years since Bleach Japan started protesting in... I'm going to just say Jincho. <sighs> now they're... Marching around almost every week. A lot of places have shut them shut down thanks to them. Wow But you're holding all the girls you've got here, right? Holding out for all the girls you got here, right? Uh, most of them don't have Japanese citizenship. Their children are grandchildren of illegal immigrants. If I shut down, where would they go? If we're being honest, they'd probably fall in with some leeches who'd skim off most of their earnings. <laughs> So I do what I can to protect them myself, you know? Sup? Think you can keep it up? Who knows? I own the place, but I'm just leasing the land. If the owner told me to leave, that'd be the end of it. Hmm? Hmm. No, oh, he overheard it, really. You come back for more trash, fellas? True. You really did a number on this this afternoon. You're still out protesting at this hour. Do you even have a permit? No, this isn't a protest. Bleach Japan helps the downtrodden in the week, too. <laughs> Sometimes that means giving people like these guys our support. Oh, he just called in some reinforcements, didn't he? They would just hang around a hamburger joint in front of the station. They lived on cheap, processed food their whole lives. They don't even know what a good meal tastes like, and that can stunt your growth. So we're trying to give them an opportunity here. Tonight, Bleach Japan will cover the bill. Oh, yeah? What are you getting at? Oh, I just thought I'd take these boys to feast on some high-class cooking from this fine establishment. <sighs> so that's your angle. You really thought this through. Yo. Hold up. What's the point of taking them somewhere with no food? That's exactly what he wants to hear. My permit says I run a restaurant, so I can't refuse. What are you going to do then? I guess I'll feed them until the money runs out. <laughs> then I suppose my part is at an end here. I'll leave you to enjoy your meal. That is, if they have any food to serve. Looking forward to hearing all about Goodbye. it. Goodbye. Bye for now, then. Uh. So what's on the menu tonight, old lady? <laughs> I'm afraid I, all I've got left are some stale crackers. 10,000 yen each. Eat up. Uh -huh. Oh, you fucking with us, Granny. Oh, not a fan of crackers. I have some cookies, I think. They're a little moldy, though. You call that food? Well, I wouldn't eat it, but I think it's appropriate for the occasion. Oi, Oi you take us for fools. Hold on. Calm down, fellas. We're perfectly allowed to be dissatisfied customers. Yeah, get us some real food. Hey. Oh, shut up. Stop complaining and get out of here. Oh, I see. You're saying this place doesn't have anything to eat. Guess we'll go tell Bleach Japan guy who gave us the money, then. <laughs> you gonna pretend that wasn't your goal from the start? 
That stop story was thin as paper. You guys got hired to mess with her business, so get out of here. Oh, hey, the old guy's getting violent with us. You in his first, so consider this self-defense. Oh. Beat the shit out of them. Excuse for a fight and synchronized stabbing. Are you gonna say cool? Oh, he just says yeah. All right, level eight, level eight, level eight. Well, this is a way to get started, huh? All right, um, they're all level eight. So let's start off. What do I got? There's an enemy, enemy with an onslaught ahead, but I don't know what's technically more powerful, but let's, I would assume this is more powerful, but I don't know if it is. So let's try headbutt barrage. He's the nearest one. All right, it's. All right. Oh, that was new. All right. He's more of a skill mage here. So let's see. Power nap is a healing item. Healing spell. Gnarly breath lowers defense, but I don't think we need it. Let's do pigeon raid. That's his specialty. Let's go with you. All right. And... Damn it, I, for I forgot how to defend. Ugh. Oh, they also are a little drunk, apparently, so. Alright, headbutt barrage. We'll keep doing this. These are our two power moves, anyway. This looks like a set fight, so I don't think I could do Pitiful Look. Sobered up at last. Okay. Let's try Rock Swing and see how that is. Alright. That was cheaper. Oh, we got some thick hides or whatever. We got some decent experience and job experience and a little bit of cash. Not yeah. much. Rank up. He learns pyro belts. All right, we're getting some elements here. an old guy be so strong uh, whatever I'll see you around grandpa don't talk to your grandpa like that you kids have a lot of spunk why don't you use it to help your parents for once <laughs> I never thought bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing bunch of dreamers they really think they can bleach the gray zones come on <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose but all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bullying. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. The money. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. You two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete self -esteem. Oh god, are we becoming whores? Please don't tell me that's the next thing, because oh my god. I shouldn't say whores, and I apologize. It's just like, you know, that was just the first thing that came to mind. It's like, are we becoming man whores, really? If you live here... You get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. 
What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But, if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Has Sounds only like to get a home. Deal. But you don't mind a couple bums living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So, I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to borrow. You got it. Thanks a lot. Aren't we leaving the homeless area a little bit underdefended then? Because we kind of started something with one side of people. Mm. Though, I mean, I guess they explained that it really would... Yes! I don't know. <sighs> Look, Ichiban. A roof. A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man, it's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls, uh, and a soft throne. This is a map, but eh, better than the ground. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh. I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Oh, God. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? We'll save some money up. I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> Hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license. If that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Veterinarian. Easier said than done. What about you? Maybe. You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? I don't know how yeah, old Nampa is. Sorry. <laughs> He's got a deceiving look to him. Probably in his probably around Life the same age. Work. Hmm. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh oh. <laughs> you really wanna know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. He was a gamer, so. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? 
What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> <laughs> the video game? <laughs> it's a great video game. How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. <laughs> it's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Well, it did. Sure, it's not a job. But if the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? Uh, certain only certain See what slimes. I'm <laughs> Leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. I took that concept Hell for a yeah. while. <laughs> Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes. Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. I'm also Let's drunk. Let's to our new era <laughs> in our new home. Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow. Cheers! It was silly, but it's also a good type of silly. Sometimes it's an attitude you need. <laughs> and also, yeah, I took that kind of concept with some things, like leveling up in certain parts of life. Oh. Uh-oh. Is that our friend? Please. No. Let me go. I swear. I'll tear that fucking bar down. He was the drunk guy that tried to take the bar down. Look, I know I messed up. I, I don't even want the money anymore. J just give me another chance. Uh, 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 how about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way. I already know how to do it. Uh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? They could have killed you? us before. What? Those are words. Uh, wait, I didn't catch that. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Chibana. Oh. But, you know, when you see it, it was kind of a little anticlimactic. I was kind of expecting just the little, the fade to black. Because <laughs> that's a little more dramatic than just actually seeing it. I know that sounds weird, but I don't know. That's just what I expected. Anyway, I think we're on a new chapter already. Except now we're not homeless, so that's kind of nice. All right. I'm glad they're making more references to Dragon Quest itself, though. I love that. Whole reason I even started this game, so. The Dragon of Yokohama. Is that our friend again? The the, the ex-cop now traffic cop or something? How do you find us? I mean, yeah, he's a detective, but you know. Thank you, ladies. See you all the night. And make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank Bye -bye. you. Have a See good you night. tonight. You sneak. You know, with some of the cash you're scraping along, you guys should invest in blankets and whatnot. Back off! Back. What? Who's there? It's me. It's me! Uh, uh, Adachi son. That's his name. He's okay, at least. 
I couldn't remember his name, but I remember him. <laughs> Third party member rejoined. I was wondering when he'd show up, though, too. I'm glad, though. Now explain. Where'd you... So, oh, well. you actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I, uh, lost my job. What? Uh. And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. No. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah. I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Oh, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, I can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. You get it? Uh... <laughs> kind of? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, assault, interference with a public servant. Guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant it all got dropped. Ah, uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention he was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? Hmm. I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, being two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Hmm. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. Sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. Are you kidding me? You need more self-respect. Yeah. Why do you care so much about exposing the commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? I wonder if the Adachi side might have a personal reason for going after the police commissioner. You, <laughs> he's so that dead. That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. Before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced. The chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? 
Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo Police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted and sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. <sighs> Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the Eugene Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred, especially the higher ups. Rats, leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day. And next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Hmm. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa... Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh shit, that's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? Well, he is. He's unemployed and broke as you now. Yeah. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save it yet. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. <laughs> they let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. I mean, it's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Oh, okay, yes. Come on. <laughs> Let's get over to hello work already. Yeah, you would think you'd have at least a... Yay, he rejoined the party. But uh, you'd think he'd have at least a little bit <laughs> of uh, help there, but... Mm, my god. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, Kasuga's job changed from deadbeat to freelancer. <laughs> okay, new, te new uh, text here. Adachi's experience, Adachi's many years as a detective, has given him a professional grade defense against rage, fear, and sleep. So he has resistances. Neat. Alright, we need to get to Hello Work. But before we do, why don't we take a look at... Kadachi. Uh, I mean, Adachi. Sorry. He has the... We don't have any optional gear. Op any other gear for him, sadly. Uh, other than accessories, let's see. He already resists rage, stun, and something else. Let me look at his stats first, and then before I give him his accessories. Let's see. He's got more HP, so he's probably a better tank than uh, we would be. That's interesting. Check skill list. What does he know? He knows beat down, damage an enemy with fury strikes and kicks, and chance of enraging. He's, yeah, he's kind of like a tank distraction type of person, it looks like. He could provoke enemies, uh, permanently boost health by 10. So that's one of his general 
job skills. On guard. Until... Oh, that's just... I think that's just what everyone has, isn't it? Oh, and then these are his level ups that he can get later on. So he can get heavy beat down. Detective determination. He could strike fear into letting enemies know that he's serious. Hi. Oh, fear. The fear status. Get some HP. And then... Okay, he's got some... Yeah, he's Helm Splitter. Ah, that's from Dragon Quest. <laughs> uh, chance to stun instead of lowering uh, defense. But yeah, he's, he's so, a semi-tank, it looks like. Which means we should give him related stuff like that. Where's my gear? All right, Namba, what do you have? You have unaffected effect by rage. I'm going to take away the HP one because I'm going to specialize into him. Sacrifice stone is like for the instant death stuff. Or when you get knocked out in general. Anyway, HP. And... I think he... I don't remember what his resistance is exactly where. It was like rage and something else. Well, I won't do that. I won't give that to him. I'll give you... Unable to be affected by stun. Unfortunately, we don't have any other... Other good weapons. Yeah, we have like no other gear. We just found some random items and that's it. Who are you? Good morning. It looks like you had a good night's sleep. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. Jeez. Alright. Out of my way, I'm important. Uh, wait. Sorry, I was going the wrong way. That's the obvious guy. Is he gonna say the same thing? Yeah, he is. Yeah. So we got kind of like our off tank guy, which will be Adachi. Hmm? Hey, what's that thing? It's a bat! Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody st stuck something in the ground. I think it's a bat. Why the hell would there be a bat stuck in the ground? <laughs> Who knows? Probably some kind of lame prank. I'll just... Sword in the stone much, huh? Sorry. Hey, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to pull this damn bat out. I bet if we pawned it, we can get a few hundred yen. No dice? Damn. Yeah, it's really stuck in there. Dachi's on, you're strong. You give it a Listen. shot. Sure, let me at it. <laughs> Sound effects I didn't think I'd be doing. Shit. Damn, it won't budge. It must be pretty wedged in there. My guns can't do it. You two are pathetic. I'll show you how it's done. Am I gonna have to press some buttons? <laughs> oh wait, is that Lucille? Oh, that's definitely channeling a little bit of uh, Dragon Quest. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm the man! Really? Damn. Credits where credits do, I guess. But what'd you do any differently than I did? <laughs> I bet only the chosen hero could pull it out. Oh, of course. I forgot we have a hero in our midst. A hero? Hmm. Him? You know how in RPGs there's only some holy sword. Only the hero can pick up. Gosuka here has been on a quest to become a hero since he was a kid. Uh -huh. I mean, kinda. Oh, well. That dirty old bat isn't exactly a holy sword. Leave it to reality to crush the fantasy. The holy sword of the hero? Huh! I will be the savior of this world! <laughs> That's the spirit, Ichiban. You actually took look the part. Hey. If you knuckleheads are done playing, shall we go and find some damn jobs? Oh, are we gonna experiment with the bat? No. Dad, Hunter. Hey guys, you have a good, having a good time? Well, sorry, but we're dad hunters, so we make this simple and to make this simple and fork all over your cash. So over all your cash. Too. We don't actually have any. <laughs> Three middle-aged dudes and no cash? Yeah, right. 
You'll need to lie better than that, you old bastards. Damn, the truth really hurts when punks call you out on it. What's up? Hey, Mr. Hero, feel like using that holy sword to smite some monsters? <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Come on. What the fuck? One of them just transformed. <laughs> what just happened? The fuck, yeah. Did you see those guys freaking transform? Or at least they were calling it out, jeez. Huh? What are you raving about? Oh no. Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Come back to Earth. Mm. <laughs> oh no. No one else sees this? Well, whatever. <laughs> at least it's more fun for me. Yay, being on drugs. Okay. All right. Sorry, I just got to put down my water. All right. Namba's up first. He's our mage. We may as well go with that. Pyro Belt. Unleash a condensed stream of superheated stank that deals fire damage to one enemy and those around them may leave the enemy burned. Okay, that actually can be pretty good. Why don't we do the middle guys? Do I have to do anything for this? I do not. Cool. Area of effects there. All right. Um, why don't you keep distract our... Let me see. What's record charge? Forward single enemy also does collateral damage to any other enemies in the way. Ooh! This is actually good. Nice! We have area of effects and skills. Oh, hey! It's now Bat Buster instead of uh, the Fist Buster thing we had. And Mega Swing... Tag Team Essence of Mayhem and Charismatic Persuasion he still has. Let's try the Bat Buster first. Uh, he's the close one here, and I think that means that he'll attack me if I try going past him. So we gotta take him out. Oh, Assassin I should've taken out first. Damn it. Suffered from burns. Suffers from burns. Okay, uh, let's see. Who is... Let's see. Hmm, let's get rid of the assassin first instead. Um, back it up. We'll go pigeon raid on him. Alright. You can... Actually, he's... Yeah, you can go over there, but what's Mega Swing? Damage an enemy as well as those surrounding the vicinity with the large bat swing. The lower Kuska's remaining HP, the greater the damage becomes. Oh, okay, so that's like reversal from Pokemon, but for now, we'll just bat swing. Taking him down one at a time. Alright, and now, what's on guard? Any close range attacks from an enemy will be met with harsh counter attack. Okay, so it's a counter thing. Well, you beat down, it's like beat down first and on guard next. But we haven't done beat down yet, so let's go fight. Suffers and burns. Okay. I really don't know. I am not good at guarding at all. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do an attack. We should do this over it. Get some mana back. All right. We got some. We got a, eh, a little bit of cash out of there. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Rank up. Nice, and get some extra HP on him. Up in the world. Learn the character skill, healing powder. Ooh, I guess he's a like sage kind of instead of a mage. Mm. He's got some healing power, so. <sighs> Fucking hell. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? For real, though, neither of you saw them transform? <laughs> Even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear, they freaking transformed! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? Could be drugs. I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. <laughs> you know, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. It makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. Well, they you weren't. Think I'm crazy, don't you? Quite well, that. As far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight, <laughs> maybe I will. 
All right, fellow adventurers, our great journey has begun. Oh God, his job changed to hero. <laughs> uh, enemies throughout the city will change their appearance according to Kasuga's wild imagination. Oh sure, Mr. Hero, lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello World. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, mm, medicinal herbs. <laughs> yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. In ways, yeah. Okay, I need a quick refresher on something here. So let me check my smartphone. Uh, let me see. Battle. Oh, Namba's immunity strengthens against poison and cold, while he is good against rage, fear, and sleep. Okay, so he doesn't have stun resistance like I thought he might. But anyway, the, what I would need to look at really quickly was blocking. Perfect guard. There it is. It's the circle. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was circle or square. Not that I'm much... I'm not really that good at any of these timed hits, but whatever. All right, out of my way. I'm important again. Uh, this could be the way. Also, we have some fights here. Hmm, I'll handle this. What? 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 You'll handle what? Ah, pickpocket and slasher. All right, Namba looks like he's the fastest because he keeps popping up like that. All right, no one's really put together, so we'll go with... Oh, wait, what's healing powder? Restore an ally's HP. Cool. All right. Uh, why don't we... Actually, I hate pickpockets more. They're probably going to steal from me. So, you know, being a pickpocket. Enemy thieves are probably the worst in RPGs. Some of the worst. All right. Uh, go ahead with Mega Buster. But bam I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping that uh, Itchy Bomb was going to be sort of like a monk. <laughs> Quick check of things here. He's the batter swordman. Self-proclaimed hero's pat. It just looks like Lucille from Walking Dead, though. Job, special, no special effects. Yeah, I was just double-checking in case we got something, but now we're just getting materials so far. Alright, out of my way, I'm important. Also, a battle up ahead. I'll take fights uh, along the way. Uh, a, a beer zerker and a newbie Yakuza. <laughs> Alright. Um, he has a shield, so I think we should go for this guy first. You are a mage. You should take on the guy with the shield. You are. And you just need to finish him. Ah, oh, man. Alright, you can just attack. Get some mana back, as you do. Thick cloth, metal wire. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of materials. Maybe we'll be able to craft some weapons. Oh, hey. Some people to talk to? Whoa. What the hell's going on there? That's a cover spell. Well. freaking dump. One man's trash sub story. Uh, supposedly it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop. Looks more like a hoarder's house. They really getting customers like that? Hmm. I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible, and it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Oh, I wish they'd do something about it. <laughs> Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Hopefully it won't be long. Hmm, what can we do? Is there something I can do? Or is this uh, something I'll be picking up later? I also like that there, in the background there was some dude that was walking close. 
looked at the garbage and turned around like, nope. Or maybe he was playing Pokemon Go and just needed to grab a Pokemon. Alright, well, they said a sub-story. Is there something else I could do, or is that just like a clue for the next thing? That's an album. That's a taxi. I already got all the DLC that I'm able to get. Oh, tasks. Here we go. Saw a house covered in trash. Alright, that's all. So, we'll probably pick up more information as we go. That's all. Alright. Hammerhead and Battle Bum. Alright. Ooh, they're together. The bam Nice! Awaking Dragon. That's the trophy I just got. I don't know what for, but okay, cool. And we gotta level up. Alright. So itchy. So itchy. Out of my way, I'm important. As usual. Alright, they're together again. Oh god, you are. Yeah, you guys are kind of far. I hope that's close enough, I'm not sure. Nah, he wasn't close enough. That's a little bit of a shame. Actually, you don't need to. Just attack him. I'm not sure that was me timing that, but I'll take it. Yeah, recover your MP, and then... the bam I don't know if there's an actual time to attack with your regular attack or not. I always ask that. Let's see. Rank up. Just general rank up. Cool. Alright, nothing there. We gotta go this way, and we have another fight. I'm glad we're getting into more fights now, though. Like, before, it felt like I had to really find them. Alright. Uh, Power Belt's clip. I probably should aim for the back guy instead. That would probably help. Alright. Bat Buster! Alright, yeah, we're getting a lot of materials. I definitely think that, yeah, we're gonna find somewhere where we can make our own stuff. Oi. Ought to go for you guys. <sighs> I'm fucked. Another day of no work. Same here. Damn it! Matsuo might have taken the cake. But a lot of these people are pretty rough around the edges. Okay. What do you expect? Finding work isn't easy these days. Well, don't let it get to you. Just gotta be patient. Hmm? Wait, isn't it a dodgy? You're right! It's a dodgy! Friends of yours? <sighs> no. Can't say I remember them. <laughs> like hell you don't! You ruined our lives! Did I? I take it I arrested you at one point or another. You weren't allowed to forget the Yokohama Pink Panthers in Jinjo's top burglary ring. What? Oh yeah, that takes me back, man. How long has it been since I busted you guys? 20 years? We're at criminal records now, asshole. And now we can't even work. You gotta take some responsibility for that. Hold on! Hey, it's not Adachi's fault you guys got busted. You a cop, bro? Nah, just here to find some work. Hey. Come on, let's leave this guy to stew and get out of here. Oh, the Adachi. Why are you looking for work? Because I lost my job at the station, obviously. Huh? You quit? That means you can't arrest us anymore, right? <laughs> no matter how many times we hit you. <sighs> You're that bent on revenge? Why not put that kind of effort into your job hunt? Shut the hell up! We'll beat the shit out of all three of you! Transform! Ah! 
Auto battle mode cannot be selected. Press L2 to auto battle mode on off. Hold the L2 direction and use the direction button to make a selection. Yeah. I don't really want to. I prefer to have control in my most of my battles. Alright. Bat Buster. Because none of them are grouped up. We're all one on one. So, Bat Buster. Oh, hey! Oh, these are like the tactics, actually. Hang on. Some battles will only end in fists. Oh, skill. I was doing run. No. Hold up. Take the offensive. That'll be you, and we'll... Let you do that. Very good. Ah! Breaking entry man. Yeah, we should have gotten him first. I didn't mean for everybody. I thought it was just tactics in general. Oh god. Wasn't planning on this, but okay. I mean, it looks cool to see for the first time. Because I saw one with just the two of them, but all three of them. Nope. Uh, I gotta... I gotta change that off. Turn that off, though. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alrighty, then. Bye bye. That was fun. I haven't had a hater in a while. Thank you. Anyway. Hell yeah. Look at me go. Got a bunch of rank ups here. Let's see. Learn the job. Heavy beat down. Yeah, I'm not really into the uh, auto battle as much. Damn you! We'll get you back for this. Don't forget us this time. Talk about taking it personally. You arrested so many people, you don't even remember what they all look like, Hidachi son? Eh, I thought I didn't know it was a question. It's all ancient history now, but I didn't have to deal with shit like that when I, while I wore a badge. What if that's gonna be the new norm? <sighs> For real? I don't wanna be anywhere near you then. <laughs> <laughs> Let them come. I'll take as many as they can throw at me. Well, hello work, awa hello work awaits. All right, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I gotta turn off auto battle. I really thought it was gonna be like tactics are in in uh, Dragon Quest, where you could select one uh, character at a time and put one person on auto, while the others you have to manually do. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and search for money? Eh, okay. All right, now let's search for jobs. And I wonder if this is gonna be like sub jobs, like in Dragon Quest or not. That's what I first guessed when we first got here. Like the Shrine of Dharma. Next, number 68. Yes. Yeah! The name's Ichiban Kasuga. 42 years old. I'm strong, I've got a home, and I need a job. Help a guy out. Alright, tell him down. No need for theatrics. Huh? Weren't you... the janitor? No. Oh. Aren't you that homeless guy sent to the bar for a side gig? So, you've got a roof over your head now, huh? No. Thanks. All thanks to that job you helped us get. Glad to hear it. So, why are you on that side now? Wait, oh wait, so why are you on that side now? What do you mean, this is my job? Huh? D director You're the director of this place? Director! Think you're finding some work for us? Hey. Oh, you made some friends. 
Yeah, my party's got three people in it now. <laughs> party, huh? <laughs> you play games, Kasuga Sakun? Yeah, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest? That's a good one. I play it myself. Anyway, let's see what jobs we have for the hero and his retina here. We are in your debt, good sir. That said, I just want to warn you, I made an exception last time. I was trying to see if a couple of homeless guys could stand on their own feet. But now that we're doing this legitimately, I have to follow the rules. Hmm? What rules? The golden rule. I can only assign you jobs that you're qualified, qualified for. Excuse me. Even in Dragon Quest, some jobs are locked until the character reaches a certain level or skill, right? Yeah, okay, this is... This, this sounds like it's going to be like Dragon Quest. Think of it like that. Life is just a big RPG when you get down to it. Sure, so what would our current experience level change? let us change into? Mm. And it's gone, a bum, and a fired cop. Here's the best I can do for you right now. Job skills, is this going to be job skills? Uh, special bathhouse? Oh. So... A soap plan. Hey. Hold on. Maybe that's the best you can get these two, but I've got years of service to lean on. According to your documentation, you've never been married? W what's that got to do with anything? You're telling me you've gone this long as a lonely single man without resorting to paying for it? This seems right up your alley. Huh? How dare you? I mean, I mean, it's not even that illegal. Anyway, what your boys need is to build up some work history. And don't think this bathhouse gig is going to be a walk in the park. The owner there is a little eccentric, and it's totally up to him if he takes you on board. Good luck. Hey. Okay, let's go nail this interview. Well, never mind. Go to Otohime Land. I really thought this was going to be like, hey, uh, if you want to learn nursing, you have to... Uh, grind this job or whatever and stuff like that I thought it was gonna be like and you get healer skills. Should I open it? It's a silver safe. Should I open it? Is there a reason not to? Sweet. A rugged cane. I can use this key to open up safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. It's one per safe then? I wasn't sure if it was an all access pass type of thing. I'm assuming it is. Well, we got a lucky cane, which I think is going to be good for Nanba. Yeah, a rugged cane. It boosts his skills up by six everywhere. All right. And he still recovers MP all with it, too. I'm just checking if there's any real differences, but no, there isn't. I'll take it. I was really, really kind of hoping to find something where I could... Work these things together, but that's okay. Alright. Uh, why don't I look at the map here? Hmm. We had the Shogi over here. We had the Can Quest over there, which is sort of like a t PvP Pac-Man. We had the little quest over here, but it all we did was notice the garbage. I guess we had to find someone else before we can continue it. And I guess we'll just... Yeah, there's not really much else. We just... Got to go to the uh, next bit here. Thank you. Out of my way, I'm important. What the? A cheap plastic. That? Okay. What was it, like a bottle? Hmm? 500 yen. Nice. Hmm? 10 yen. All right. I mean, hey, may as well find what we can. Iron plate. What do you... A vending machine. Maybe I'll buy a drink. What do you got? Poseidon power. Energy drink temporarily boosts attack, evasion, and if drink during combat, you'll gain more money from the battle. Hmm. That might be useful when we could find, like, uh, things that drop extra money or whatever. Jeez. He kind of just ran in front of me. But we gotta fight down there. I'm gonna fight first, and then uh, we'll go to where we're supposed to.
Oh yeah, keep auto off. Right there. Cause that, there's three people right there. Hmm. We didn't even hit. We only hit. We did hit one of them. A diamond dasher and a punkling. Um, mega swing. Right here. I think that'll. Ah, I messed up my timing, but that's okay. Jeez. Uh, All right. Heavy beat down, damage with a series of blows. Mm, they're not lined up. Oh no, no. Just give him a beat down. Needy press. Oh jeez. Actually, Pidgey raid the bigger guy. Alright, and then just give him an attack. Alright, we got some stuff out of that. Alright, now we can go to where we were trying to. Also, let's run over to some bikes. I also make this explode, maybe. Can I break that? Hold on. So I saw it move. Ah, oh, we can't. I was kind of hoping that I could explode it like I can with the scooters. Alright, there's a taxi, la random lady. Hey, random lady. Hey, Mom. What's an S and M club? Oh, dear Lord. You'll find out when you're older, dear. Ready when you are. <laughs> oh, what? Hmm? <laughs> oh no, are you a flasher? Okay. Who's that Sujimon? Jeez. The hell's up with this guy? <laughs> uh, just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys. Let's do this. Are we supposed to fight him? Dance with Glee. The others became susceptible to status ailments. Is this like a metal slime or something, maybe? Alright, try Pigeon Raid. He resists it. Okay. We can't stun him. All right. I'm up. You are. All right. Chance of enraging. We might want that. Um. Heavy beat down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We do beat down. No arrangement. Okay. We can lower his defense. That might help. Come on now. Let's go. He likes hitting us with his butt. I messed up my timing. He didn't cash, that's about it. Mysterious stone and odd stone. Maybe he's just a rare item dropper. Okay. What was his problem? I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. The fuck? Huh? 
I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. What? Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're oh, what? No. Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's hey. Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Oh Sujiman God, Pokemon! <laughs> what is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest. How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. Oh, God. So he's a dude that collects, that likes to see data on flashers, I guess? This place I call the Sujimon Center, it's a fully functional research lab. You mean mm. your fully random office room? <laughs> Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujiman, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujiman are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujiman. Uh-huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Oh no. Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. <laughs> Come on! Hear me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes? Two? So but there's three of us. I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. 
But a comprehensive Sujiman encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? A steward Ichiban. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. <laughs> this really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. Put in the chat a little. The application I made does all the work. All right, the Suji Dex app. Uh, As for how it operates, Pokedex. Well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. This hey, is so dumb. <laughs> time to earn your key. What? Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Oh no! I'm not sure where you're going with this. Bulbasaur, but... Charmander, or Squirtle? Uh, I always went with uh, Charmander, so we'll go with red. Let's go. With I like Charmander. all three of them. Okay then, red it is. All right, you two, give Red here some backup. What? Was the point of choosing? Now, give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! Ah. Get ready for a Sujimon battle! All right. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go. Whoa, dude. Don't get caught. Can I? I don't know if that'll reach them. I'll try the green one first. I got this. Good. Ah, he resists fire. Ah, that's funny. Uh, maybe that'll work. Okay, did hit it, ball, both of them. All right. Well, we we did some good damage to Bulbasaur there. All right, let's go heavy beat down. Oh. I didn't see the square. Damn it. This favor, observing the area. He's on alert. Oh, you're out of mana. All right. Okay, bubble sword is down. Let's go pigeon raid on you. I'm actually going to leave you on guard, because he's got lower health. And you know what? I could actually heal the enemy if I wanted to, that's funny. It'd be funny if he counterattacked him for healing. Okay, okay, go. Okay. You know what? You need to get some attacks in. Get some mana. There you go. Got to rank up. Learn the job skill. Fearless command. We also got some items, but... Mm.
<laughs> oh, I just realized we're red, green, and blue too. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up, and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. To catch them is our real That's test. Kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? It also might not be just a Pokedex. It probably is just a monster dex. All right, red Sujibon. Category sub story. <laughs> Location rarities one star. Skill burning bottle ignite. Uh, Sujibon badgered by into wearing a red suit. Freezing bottle. Hmm. And sweet dreams. He drops the traffic wand and immaculate. Oh, so we did get some experience. We did get some items out here out of this. A metal broom, a rough lim lumber. All right. That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, mm. you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you gotta dispatch them all. Then you'll be the next Sujimon master. Oh my gosh. The references, I love it. Alrighty, well that happened. But we got some web items here, so why don't we take a look at them? Is rough lumber any better? Oh wow, it actually is. Wait, is it? It looks like it's going down. 19. Oh wait, there you go. It's saying plus 18. I'm looking at it. I was looking at it wrong. Wow, that's a lot. A dirty tangle. Yeah, we don't have any new armor. We got new weapons. And we got still got those sacrifice stones, but I'm not going to waste those yet. All right. Rugged cane versus... Hmm. Well, apparently that's the best he can get. Wait. Did we get a shoe? Shirt. Just a stretch shirt. And then just this one hat. All right. What about you, Adachi? We got a broomstick, but apparently no one can equip it. Not none of us here, at least. I'm just seeing if maybe it's something that only he could. One of these guys can equip. Then what the fuck was the other stuff? Oh, we got the iron plate, worth something for at the pawn shop. Uh, those are materials, growth items, battle items, status, and recovery. Hmm. But we got other gear. Oh, here we go. Apparently not all the things that I that they said they could drop did drop, I guess. Alright, well that kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop. <laughs> Hold up, what... What is this? I'm curious. Apparently nothing. I could just hide down here and do shit. Yeah, yeah, get out of my way. We want to look for everything around here. I can go around. That seems to be it. Oh. 
Sorry, I was running too much because I'm so important, damn it. Hi, Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Ew. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Ew. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. Oh my god. Uh, I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too, but come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> So, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. You know he's going to. Wait, really? Ichiban, what's the hold up? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap plans, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh, <clears throat> What's he doing? I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichi Cho! Oh, them again. <laughs> yeah, in other words, they're gonna be bodyguards while mm -hmm. Ichiban does other stuff. Anyway. What's that sound? <sighs> I grew up a past called the Bleach Japan. Can't believe they're already back. They're the same guys as the other day. They've been demonstrating in front of my shop for a few days in a row now. Like clockwork. It's a pain in the ass. Oh. They're specifically targeting you with these pre with these protests. Well. We're the last place in the area that's open about being a bathhouse. The others have all rebranded as men's salons or bubble massages. That makes it harder for Bleach Japan to build a case against them. So, they come after us since we're still open about being a soap land. They think if 
they can close me down. I'll start a shockwave and clean out the... Uh, it'll start a shockwave and clean out the rest of the area. Am I lucky or what? Listen. And the Yakuza won't protect you? I tried complaining to the Seiryu clan once. They had some lame excuse, and then they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, Police Japan's ranks are filled with the types who read up on anti-Yakuza laws just for the fun of it. Those kind of people are tough for even the Yakuza to deal with. That's the Yakuza for you. So, if I can't go to the Yakuza, and I can't go to the police, who do I turn to? Well, damn. Even my employees are quitting to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope over here. Right. So that's why you're understaffed. But basically you're saying, as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business. That said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around. <laughs> either. <laughs> you don't get it at all. Girls who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. The girls who work here are all Japanese, but they're in the same situation as an immigrant who came here to get away from whatever it may be. Losing a job like this may be... may as well be de deportation. They got nowhere to go back to or rely on. Okay. I always figured it was the money that brought girls to this kind of work. Yep. Of course, a lot of people come get tempted to this side of things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll strike it rich without doing any real work. Soon as things take a turn for the worse, they run for the hills. That's why I only hire women so far out on the ledge they can't afford to take another step back. Women like that will work th like their lives depend on it, and that's what keeps my business stable. Hey, Stable my ass. You're just taking advantage of women at their lowest. You're the scum of the earth. Say what you will, but lust weighs on the soul just as heavy as a hun as hunger, if not more so. Except with lust, you can't just satiate, the, uh, uh, satiate it at your local deli. You have to hold it until you find an outlet. So as long as women are willing to be on the menu, men are going to place orders. That's the way world we live in. Sorry, the text is it's so slightly small. Hmm. Whatever. If we drive that guy off, will you hire us or not? Yo. Kasuga, after everything this slimeball just said, you want you still want to work here? I certainly don't. This guy is nothing like Hamako. The world would be better off if we let Bleach Japan take him down. Shut up. It's work. And I can't afford to turn that down. <laughs> Blink. Blink. I'll take your job, and I'll get it done right. You gonna hire us or not? Fine. You insulted me, and I'll take it. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet this establishment is flaunting it in broad daylight. Remember hey. me? Working hard as ever, huh? What? You guys, from the other day, why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're employees. Employees, huh? My friends, the accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution, have made themselves known. <laughs> I'm sorry, criminals? If that was the case, why aren't we getting arrested? Because soap lands are dodging laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone, the dark stains on Japan. Let us turn this gray to white. We must bleach it out. Yo. And what about you? You think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Never committed a single crime? True. Of course I obey the law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. So you've never even, like, taken a whiz outside? That's technically a crime, you know. No. Never once, not in my life. <sighs> Seriously. What about speeding? Everyone's gone over the speed limit because they were running late. Nope, not a single time. Hey. You liar. It's illegal to go even one K kilo uh, KPH over the limit. You have to have done that. Afraid not. If you doubt me, then prove it. Prove I've committed these crimes. Yo. 
Okay, how about what you're doing right now? All these people blocking the road has got to be some kind of crime, doesn't it? <laughs> you're so ignorant, it's funny. I have a permit. We have permits from the Kanagawa police for this demonstration. Hmm, yeah. Well, a permit to march on public ro on a public road. <laughs> Do you get it now? The police have been magnanimous enough to let us use this road for our cause. But where you're standing right now is technically the road. Isn't technically the road. That's the soap plan. You're trespassing. You just trespass. That's a gray zone. Just got a little bit overzealous. Also, it says here that there's only supposed to be ten of you. I'm no mathematician, but it looks like there's more than that. Yeah, a little bit. We got just got more support than usual today. That's the nature of a protest. The number of people can fluctuate up until the day of. If you don't like it, file a police report. But I wouldn't get your hopes up about them coming down to do a head count. The difference between 10 or 15 people isn't worth their time. And it's certainly not causing any trouble. That's a gray zone, you fuck. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right track, Ka Oh, it's Adachi. Yeah. You're on the right track, Kasuga. In that case, I've got a warning for you. The legal definition of a march means you're not allowed to stop moving. If you stop and start giving speeches, that's obstruction, obstructing traffic. Your right to use this road was predicated on you performing a march. So the fact that you stopped here is a pretty clear violation. <clears throat> Even that's technically the rule. Every protest stops to give speeches, and the police are fine with that. Sup? You know what you call that? A gray zone. Gah! <laughs> Relying on a gray area to criticize a gray zone? Man, that's irony. My friends, let's keep going. We're marching. That was kind of cool. Prostitutes has got to go. No more indie chit. I don't care. Watch where you're going or, you go or you'll trip. Let's see, we have Ichiban Kasuga, age 42. Oh. Address is... Oh, isn't this one Hamako Run? Yes. Yeah, we're living on the second floor. You know, hamako -san? A bit, from years ago. Anyway, next is Yu Nanba. Oh, that's his first name. Age 41. Oh, he's one year younger. Huh? <laughs> Yu Nanba? You mean Nanba was your real name this whole time? After that whole speech you gave me about... Homeless people using fake names? <sighs> Shut up. You believed it was fake, and that's what's important. You're just gullible. What was that? This is true. Um, what? Okay, okay. And the last guy is Koichi Adachi, who's... Wait, age 59? Yes. Yeah, only had two months to go until I hit retirement. But the Kanagawa police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. Huh? Huh? That's all? What's all? No. I mean, we're walking trio of red flags, aren't we? A bum, an ex yakuza, and a cop with a dishonorable discharge. What of it? If I was worried about stuff like that, I'd never find anyone to work with me. For me. And besides, I just happen to have the perfect job for you three. What? And that is, I hope you're not going to make us clean the bass to kick things off. Nah, I only get that done every six months. Oh! What I'm really after is her. Sorry if his voice and the other dude's voice is similar. Her name is Nanoha. She's been my top earner for five years straight. That's that's the girl who called to take the day off and you blew her, blew up at her, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Mm. She's your top earner, huh? Yeah, you weren't kidding about these girls being on the... Uh, never mind. I told you, if all, if all you've got going for you is being cute and young, you'll never last. The core of the Soapland's appeal is service and love. It's emotional depth that makes a repeat, repeat customer. Okay. Emotions, huh? I guess I could see that. Men are lonely creatures when it comes down to it. Even guys who put up the toughest front needs to be... needs a place to be who they really are. And the depth of a woman's ability to give him that is usually proportional to her own baggage. Nanoad's father is of an age where he can't even move on his own anymore. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into this world to afford him the best of care. Wow. 
Skipping all the stuff between white collar and job and prostitution is a pretty brave leap. Yep. yep. That's why she's so good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter who the customer is. All for the sake of her father. But that being said, she recently started finding reasons to take days mm. off. This never used to be the case, though. Between Bleep Japan and Nanoha taking days off, sales are really slumping. So that's why I need a hand. What? A hand? Like, on the customers? Uh, listen. Nah. No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Didn't she say it herself is because of an irregular period? I can't take that at face value, knowing her. There are a lot of reasons why someone who needs money starts taking a lot of time off. Think she's got a side piece? Mm -hmm. You do know this industry, don't you? Care to fill in the, the class? Yeah. It means she could be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, a customer pays for the service, and that money gets divided between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount, but still come out on top by cutting the shop out. Once they start doing that, the girl starts to wonder why they need the shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing. Even if it's just an innocent thing at first, once they get a taste for the extra cash, it doesn't stop. They'll even start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. It's the death nail for some shops. So, I want to, you to find out if she's seeing someone on the side. Sup? Okay, let's say she is. What do we do if we find the guy? Make sure he never wants to go near Nanoha again. And I don't care what methods you use. You're a Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you three can come up with something creative. Hold on. Hey, hold up. Shouldn't you be using your Seiru clan for this kind of thing? Think of them li like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they increase your premiums. So, it's cheaper if I can solve this problem myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a boss for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay. Can you tell us where Nanoha's son lives, for starters? Actually, it seems she's been couch serving for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some time. Hey. How the heck we find her, then? If you keep an eye on the pocket cafe, she'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay for hours to use the free Wi-Fi and charge her phone. See you later! So, I hope, I'll hope for the best. Get her to start coming back in regularly, and I'll have a suitable payment for you. Oh, that was a lot to talk. Oh, there's more. Damn it. Sounds like he... Sounds to me like he hired us as chief detectives. <sighs> Nanamiya is quite a schemer. He seems sloppy, but he knows his employees both on and off the clock. If he's doing it on purpose, he's good. <sighs> Doesn't mean he's not a scumbag. He's the, His bottom line is all he cares no. about. I don't think so, actually. Huh? Maybe it's not true all the time, but... Yeah, most soap lands profit off their workers' misfortunes. You mean, like, their debt or their family issues? They prey on people like that, right? <laughs> Basically, the women work hard to get out of that situation, and the shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way Nanomiya talks about people, but he's not sugarcoating anything either. He understands the reality of the business. Mm. Well, that's one way of putting it. I grew up surrounded by every kind of sleazebag Kamarocho could throw in those doors. And I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for his girls. I'd take him over any, take him any day over some shithead who doesn't care why the girls get jobs there in the first place. <sighs> well, just because I hate shitheads doesn't mean I have to like sleazebags. So let's go find this proof and get paid. Okay. Okay, alright. But we still don't know for sure if he, she's actually seeing a guy on the side. Let's start with this cafe she supposedly goes to. Alright. Let me drink some water, because that was a lot of voice work. Man. It's like, there was so much, um... There was so much, um... There was so many, uh, like, cutscenes before, and now it's like... Oh, nope. You gotta read it now. Out of my way, I'm important. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude, dude. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, there's a store. Uh, it's around the corner. I want to check out all the stores and see if they have any, like, equipment or whatever. Hi. Out of my way, I'm important. Why is there one of each of you in these things? 
let's see. Recovery, status, other. Growth and materials. What's twist fragment? Improving style. Um, materials. For weapon crafting or enhancing? Weapon crafting or enhancing. Why don't I just buy one of each? Just in case. You never know. And then there's making... There's like... Seeds. I'm not going to bother with that yet. MP restore. Medicine that relieves uh, paralyzed muscles. What I really could use... Oh, wait. What I really could use is revival, but I don't think we're going to get that. Yeah, 15k. We don't... We can't afford that. Huh, turmeric tablets sober up from being drunk. Yes, yes. And... Nothing else of, uh, importance here. I'm making sure, real quick. Can I... I'm just curious. I just want to see the limits. I want to see if I can go behind there and get in trouble or something. Okay. We need to get across. Out of my way, I'm important. What about this door? Chickendale Soul employee, whatever, something. It looks like I said employees. We got some food here. Mostly cheap food. Addicting bite sized kara karage. Hmm. Chickendale Soul uh, employee. Alright, we got a cross. Oh yeah, we crossed this way before. Ah, Pocket Cafe, right there. <laughs> I thought that was the door. <laughs> Damn, it's full. Wow. Hey, look over there. I'm eating cookies, by the way. <laughs> That's Nanoha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. Hmm, that was convenient. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Let's try and eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Hmm. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. Are you alright? You look really tired. Did you teach him how to record, too? and see the transaction go down. Somehow I think we have two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. But maybe we don't need that. I'm worried. 
Are they doctors or are they funeral okay. people? Hmm. It's just my Hitmen? Son's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. That's not gonna be creepy at all. Oh, hey! Ow! <laughs> uh, sorry. A little delayed there. Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, oh my god, really? How are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken phone. Come on, none of this shit. Uh, Sorry, shake down. We're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! <laughs> Basically. I'm gonna whine until you give us money! Not a loser. And we're gonna lose Nanaha. Cool. No, 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 Mega swing. Okay, we knocked a couple people around. Yeah, okay, we saved a little mana there. Oh, I actually guarded. Go me. Get some more mana. Critical hit because he was on the ground. Oh, more! Nice! Let's see. Plastic, foam. Oh, we got some Suji Codexes stuff. Let's see. Level up. Oh, that'll get our mana back at least. I won't forget this! Shit, bad time to get, to get interrupted. Where's Nanaha? Whatever. Nanaha. We lost her. What should we do? Head back to the soap land? Even if we did, we wouldn't have anything to report. No. Hey. We can see what this guy is, yeah. Wanna follow him? Yeah. Sorry, wrong voice, but whatever. Yeah, could be our ticket. Is it automated or do I have to do the following? I really hope I don't have to do the following because I will probably run right into him because, well, I run to everybody. <laughs> Can't help it, I'm clumsy as hell. Also, part of me just doesn't care and I like running into people and going like, <laughs> shouting at them, so it's just... <laughs> Okay, good. Hmm. Well, good luck getting in there. 
Looks like a court building. What does it say? Well, I can't read it. Social Welfare Corporation? Oh. Sounds hmm. like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Maybe that she's trying to afford to get him uh, sure into a home. Curious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the soap land to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. And then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? That's yeah, also one thing. That's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She hasn't seen him. To see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. That was what I was going to bring right up too. Might be we could find her dad, or see if they even have her dad if he hasn't, if he hasn't passed on already. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so... I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. <laughs> they don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, they know what you look like now, too. Return to o Otohime land. Mm. We also have a big fight cut over there. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, I'm in the crosswalk, so you gotta stop for me. Now they're gonna be synchronized? A little bit. Alright. Oh god, hurry up, dude! All right, can you wait for the car? Is that still any spread enough? Nanoyo, Nanoyo. Damn it, I didn't spread like I wanted to. Eh, just attack. There you go. Damn it. Uh, ooh, can you bull rush them? Let's see. Yeah, wait for me. Um, shut up. Let's yeah, that'll go. go right through. There we go. Damn it, I could not do it in time. Alright, we're just gonna go with Pigeon Raid. It's a little easier. Oh, that's Pyro Belch. Whoops. Who's weakest right now? Uh, looks like you. There you go. Alright. And knock him down. Ah. Now you were able to knock him down, but... Heh. <laughs> Main gun phase. Good, get the mana back a little. Oh, he guarded. Oh, wow. That could have been really bad. I didn't see him doing that. 
All right, we got a nail impure lead to whatever stuff. <laughs> Level up, good. You know what? Quick check here. I want to see if any of them drop something good, because I could start using those skills that scare them in and all that. Color gangsman, cheap plastic and sturdy. He doesn't have any. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Ornery Yakuza. Do they have to drop something before I can see what their drops are? I'm hoping that's not the case. It's got plastics. Looks like they don't... High... Yeah, it doesn't look like any of them drops any uh, weapons. That's kind of what I was hoping for, because then I figured, hey, I could sell them for money if I need to. Because the only one that dropped anything was this dude with the rough lumber. Because, uh, yeah, he didn't drop the traffic wand like he could have. Because I imagine that's, uh, something that what's-his-name could have used, Namba. And Metal Broom, I'm not sure who would have been able to wear, use that, but... Alright. Either way. Let's keep going. And keep running into people. Oh, actually, here's another thought. Can you... Can you heal outside of battle? There you go. Cheap way to heal himself, at least. Hopefully that doesn't put, keep him asleep or whatever. Nah, it doesn't. Out of my way! <laughs> Again, I love that noise. Is there anything... Yeah, there is something over... I thought I saw something anyway. Yeah, well, I'm clearing up the map a little bit. May as well discover around here. Can't can't hop over that, really. Ah, I was hoping he hit himself, hurt himself. Sort of like how when I ran into a car to see if it would happen, and it totally did. Eh. East Jamal's Jim. Station, whatever. Again, the the text is just so tiny. I mean, my TV is actually decent size, but it's like apparently not big enough. Hey, what are you looking at? I'm no bike thief. Get lost, Graham. Oh really? Suspicious denial. I'm just gonna ruin the bikes. Wee! <laughs> Anything else? I'm just trying to, again, I'm just trying to clear up the map area while I'm, you know, while I'm in the area. Unless the game naturally will lead you into these places. I don't know enough about it. I also haven't started uploading these on YouTube yet, so I haven't been able to get any comments asked letting me know. Oh, by the way, if you do this, then this happens. Alright, that was pretty good. Alright, we're back to where we're going to be. Because there's someone to chat with over uh, on the side here, right? Alright, no buttons coming. Hey, dude. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? <laughs> Would you tell me how to get to the station? Best times at Unaba. Oh, shit, it's English. <laughs> I'll reply with limited English. I'll make something up. I'm not interested. I'll try with limited English. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right! Go, go, go! Go your way! And believe in yourself! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, thank you. You are welcome! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. 
My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Barra Vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty! How many are useful? For real? That's crazy! I have, like, none. You gotta change that, man! Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know! Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't you? Well, when you put it that way, sure. Great! Then let's get you signed up right away! Uh, okay. You get, like, a referral thing or something? And is this gonna be, like, the job, the Trana Dharma in Dragon oh. Quest? So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Or all trades Abbey. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> okay, you like her, we get it. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. That would be <laughs> creepy. So my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san, noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time. So don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. And just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. Ah. You know, personality development. Hmm. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Oh, is this only for personality then? Just be quiet. Yeah. Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. I keep trying to predict this, so... Go through a trial lesson. Alright. Do you have something else to say, dude? No. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yeah, yep. Let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. This facility is all about developing one's personality. Passing exams will help improve the different facets of Kasuga's personality. After the free trial exam, you have to pay the exam fee. Which exam would you like to take? Well, we only have the sports tier. Passion and charisma would go up. Passing mark if three, three out of five answers are correct. This is certified you've got sufficient knowledge of sports and its history throughout human civilization. Well, I have my phone nearby, so if I have to cheat, I will. My personality right now is... Yeah, I just have a little extra kindness at best, and it, but everything's level one. All right, passionate and charisma. That's totally fine. 
Oops, sorry. That's not what I meant to do. I wonder how much it will be costing us, too. If it's like just 250 yen, that's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah that's the only one. A pencil? Oh shit, do I really need it? Is this timed? Please don't. Oh god, it's timed. A triathlon is consecutively overcoming three different events while fastest over time. Which of the following is not part of the triathlon? Uh, swing, long distance running, cross country, bicycle road race? Shit. I think bicycle road race. Uh, what is the name of the track and field event? I can't cheat. In which the athletes push a metal ball as far into the air as they can and complete for a distance thrown. Oh, that's a shot put. Uh, marathon is a track and field event that requires running distance of that much. Which of the following is the event that became the origin of this? Di oh, fuck if I know. Uh, Battle of the Marathon? Oh, fuck if I know. Uh, what is the name of the racing technique in which the vehicle rounds a curve by skidding the tires, saving time as a result? Oh, uh, drifting. Uh, golf is played on a course in which the golfer's goal is to hit the ball in the middle. Yes, each course is present stroke. Reaching the hole in the number exactly... If number of precise strokes is par, uh, one stroke below is birdie. What the term when it's three strokes below? Eagle? I hope that was three out of five. I'm only confident with a couple answers. Really? What does that say? How'd I do? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? How many did I get at it right? Apparently just a n they don't tell me how many I got right. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm now a dull dullard and I'm tactless. Hooray! Uh let's see. I was wrong cross countries was was not a part of it. I was getting a little time stuff fucks me up. Shot put was right. Battle Marathon really was right? Wow, that was a guess. Uh, drifting I knew. It's an albatross? Wait, really? Hmm. Blowpar is one, two... I, I thought Eagle was something. But okay, it, albatross I do not know. While two strokes below is known as Eagle. Oh, okay, the rare occasion that a hole is complete and four strokes below is... Uh, Blowpar is called Condor. Triathlons are relatively new to the world of sports. Cross country can refer to entirely different running event or component of Nordic skiing. All right, good to know. Imagine that this is how uh, college was done. You know, you just do one test and hooray, and every, your all your classmates go running up to say you're the best. That should just about wrap it up. I barely Thanks passed for that. Us out. So. Ooh. Well, here's what I learned. Not bad for your first time. Well, after they're done talking. The treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. This guy never shuts up, does he? Haha. <laughs> what did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Hmm. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi-san. I know I do. Okay, you made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out, right? Hmm. That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? So, here's something I want to know is... For future reference. Do I need to... Is the goal to max out everything in your personality eventually? Or is there actually some advantages to having it lower? I guess we'll find out. This is a certification and exams are now available. Any past exams can be taken as a mock exam for free as many times as you would like. Oh. Past Please exams. let me know when you found a course that interests you. Sure. Once I figure out where to start. I gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. Oh, got it. <laughs> oh, no. 
Then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. <sighs> oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? <laughs> well, by this point, Ikari san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You'd think the personality test would be helping him. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi san? I'm smart and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga san, welcome to the start of your future. All right. Vocational school. Let's see. Uh, Specialized in improving personality. By passing exams and obtaining licenses, Kasuga can significantly improve his personality parameters. You will be required to pay an exam fee for each license exam. Speak to a receptionist from there if you wish to take license exam. Alrighty. Well, here's what I said. I was going that um. Here's what I learned, by the way. So the goal here really is for me to have my phone or something nearby ready for me to so I can just go ahead and uh <clears throat> find the answers ahead of time that la that thing I got really close when it came to the sports thing like I only know a, knew a few of those so itchy. all right let me take a quick look chat with me is okay let's first say what's up I think this conversation would be better if I, if I was sharp intellect four interesting we have new certifications available. I be, did two. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do these in quite some time, am I? Sega proficiency tier? Wait, really? I'm the video game company Sega? I know Sonic, but I don't know anything else. Let's see. We got mathematics. Uh, the 30,000... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford this for a while, am I? Alright, well, good Come to know. When you're ready. Yeah, I need money. Let's, uh, work on that. Maybe in time I'm going to be able to get a little bit more money. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to wreck the place first. How much, is, how much can I wreck? Can I wreck this too? Alright, I can't move the desk. I can just wreck the chairs. I'm glad you don't care about this. Hi there. Ah, oh, cousin gets on. Can I help you with something? I'm not sure I'm gonna pass. Mm. I'm actually kind of nervous about the exam. Don't say. Who would have pegged you as the delicate type? In any case, you should be. An average Joe like you would have to retake the exam in a certain amount of times before. Oh, I know. I'll let you in on a secret that had me passing exams left and right, as per Mia Koshi san's request. So, what is it? The culmination of my hard work, experience, and refined sensibilities. Hyper focus and the divine pencil. <laughs> With these in hand, even a complete simpleton can double their chances at passing the exam. Double? You serious? Not for free, mind you. But give it some thought if you're interested. Ask about the divine pencil. Why not? This pencil is the ultimate weapon against these exams. There are a number around the sides. Roll it on the desk, and it'll reveal which of the answers are wrong. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, isn't that just luck? Luck? Nothing. This pencil reveals two of the three of the wrong answers with 100% accuracy. For real? 100%? No way! Way. Just know this guaranteed 100% only happens once per exam. Couldn't tell you why. I suppose that's just part of its divine nature. I'd be willing to part this for 500,000 yen. How about it? Uh... Fine by me. It's not exactly cheap, so like I said, give it some thought. Hyperfocus. Unleashing hyperfocus will slow down to the point of where it feels like you have eternity in your hands. But be aware the effect doesn't last very long, and you'll only be able to use it once per exam. Use it when you feel like you need more time. Imagine this technique would cost you 100,000 yen. That's a little more reasonable. Still interested? I... Fine by yeah. Me. It's not exactly cheap. Like I said, give it some thought. Let's talk about something else. Ask about certificates. 
this school believes in passing exams and obtaining certificates is an excellent way to grow as an individual. If you're wondering what a certain exam will do, you might try looking up who else has taken it in the past. When taking an exam, you may be able to see which certificate improves which aspect of Kasuga's personality. Yeah, I'm sure you know by now, but speak to Ma Miyakoshi-san if uh, you want to take an exam. Oh, and don't forget to pay the exam fee. Uh, let's see. How to prepare. I'll leave you any secret that helped me pass the exam. Left to right, as per, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, ask about Akari. Too bad there's no exam on getting down, get on getting down the ladies. Eh, oh well. What? I think you mean getting down with the ladies, not just getting down the ladies. Ask about Miyakoji. Just feeling her warm smile, uh, warm, see, seeing her smile warms my heart. And that's it. Alright, all good. <laughs> well, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Woo! I can break garbage. Hooray. Alright, well, we had fun. This is something that, again, I'm going to see if there's a guide online or something for. But I'll have to check that out another time. We need money first. Oh, hey. Hey, we're just gonna cross. Don't mind us. Alright, I'm gonna try something. Uh, who's the lowest level? Hmm. I want to try it. All right. Uh, hmm. Oh, the struggler. That might. That's kind of cute. All right, you're in my way. I need to find a way to get hit all of them. Mega swing. Okay. All right. I hit two. Yeah, there we go. Two down. Alright. Give him a beat down. Okay, he's raging at him. Alright. No, no, I didn't mean that. And on that pitiful look is probably not a good idea at all. Ignore that dude and just. Fight on the sidewalk. <laughs> That's the trophy I just got. He's weak to that. Wow, I'm learning some of this. Go me. Alright, pigeon raid him. Decent money. Uh, Suji Dex. We also got that. Look at me go. All right. Oh, and we got another group over there too. All right. First things first. Let's see. Um. Not that. That's the wrong one. Uh, Suji Dex. I wanted to see the new... I wish it would show the new people sometimes. Steamed Punk. Cheap Plastic. Rough Hide. I'm mostly interested in drops right now, anyway. You should play voice. Oh, again, I wish I could sort this by newest. Big Dog. Stern Stranger. I haven't... I don't remember running into you guys. Oh, bouncers. What are you? Auto mo burglar? Really? Alright. And then there's U3. Alright, yeah, there's. None of them seem to drop those sort of things. 
But anyway, yeah. Oh, hello, person. Yokohama looks like a modern city, doesn't it? But sometimes, what? But sometimes there are bugs crawling all over the trees. I get so freaked out, I can't even get out of my room. Oh yeah, they want us to collect bugs for reasons, so... Out of my way, I'm important. I want to fight those people. Alright, who's up first? Cool! That was really good. Yep. Let's go. Good good amount of damage is going on there. Alright, that was good. Oh wait, we need to go this way. Hmm. I never went th around this area, huh? So, may as well keep going and fight those dudes. Yeah, I'm far back, man. Yeah. Alright. Uh, that should do it. All right. Can you bull rush? Reckless charge. Eh, not enough. Oh, damn, that hurt. Power nap. Yeah, heal back up. That was a weird positioning. Alright, uh... Just attack. Get rid of him. I could not block that. Jeez. Okay. I got this. Have fun with this. Watch this. Okay. There you go. Good experience. Rank up. Get some good stuff there. Alright, let's go ahead and have him uh, heal himself here. Oh, you can power nap others? Weird. I want to cross safely. Hi, business lady. This is more on the side of exploration, so... Nothing I could visit here. Oh, we got a bunch of other idiots here. I wanted to talk to that dude. Alright. That should do it. Good. Uh, hmm. Alright, I'll do Mega Swing from his position to do it. Nice. <laughs> uh, you're stuck. That was kind of amusing. Cool. 
Wow, that was a miss. There you go. Again, decent amount of experience stuff going on here. Alright, let me chat with this dude. Need more cash? Just go to a convenience store, find the ATM, and withdraw some. It's not easy. Alright, I do have extra, a little bit of extra cash, too. Alright, let's come. Let's see. You're welcome. Move on my way. How much do I have in my savings? Six, only have 6,000 left in there. Hmm. Well, it's good emergency cash at least. I got 15k. Currently. So a total of 21k. Oh. Hmm? A little bit of money there. Got a couple people fighting around there, and we need to go all the way over there. I'm straying a little bit too much. As much as I want to... Well, as much as I can fight into fights and all that, I meant. Alright. I think you're better off doing single, because uh, Pyro is a little hard to work. Alright, do we have an assassin? Yeah, get rid of the assassin first. How's your MP? You're pretty good. He can finish him off, get his mana back. Very good. Yeah, knock him down. Alright, but yeah, as much as I like getting experience and all that, I do need to check things out. I'm going to try to follow the pink mostly, but if I see enemies on the way, I'll go for it, but I'm not going to go out of my way. Also, yay, we're getting more discoveries. Ah, there's some people. Level 14 and level 12. All right. Get rid of the shirtless dude. Maybe. Yeah, right here. Nice. Oh, damn. Uh, 
I figured Adachi could use more use more skill because he's got more mana at the moment. Job ranked up. Push and shove. Hmm. Oh good, he got his mana back, so that's good. Alright, I just said good twice, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, we got some more here. Ah, I missed it. Let's push and shove. Damage anybody, shove them with a cane, which may leave them stunned. Interesting, but uh, let's go with whoever's the highest. You, go with you. Oh, he resisted. God damn it. Stamina light? Oh boy. Come on. There we go. Oh, he cleared out of the way. A little bit. Damn, that's pretty good. Uh, he's not going to be able to get to him in time. Alright. We got rid of him. You are, but we got it. Get serious. Let's go. Hey, we built a rage on a dead dude. We're alive. Yeah, we got the stamina light back too. Do I have some low level items? Yeah, like fifty Migari here, or whatever. I hope that's not used in crafting. Not bad. Really tasty. Pretty good. I figured we could use the lower level stuff for that. Oh, we need to keep going this way. They hit hard, though. I really need to get equipment. I just wish I knew where I could get equipment. Or if that's something I gotta deal with and hope to find. Commercial district. Can I break those? I'm curious. Yes, I can. There, I'm helping the environment. The hell? Hmm? Nothing. Hmm? Nothing. I'm my way. I'm important. Uh, I've been there. Oh, uh, we got people to fight first. Let's we'll take one out. Fashion policer. Uh, we gotta take out one of the attackers here. There we go. Took out a lot there. All right, that wasn't too bad. Uh, ah, we got some Suji deck stuff too. And just a regular level up. All right. I was hoping for something more. Huh. 
Okay. Well, we're almost there. Uh, we have a... Sh yeah, this is the shop that we round area that we've been. Out of my way! For you. Hey, where are you? We're supposed to be in front of the Fukutaki Bank ATM. Uh, what's this? It says it's a game. Play slots. You know what? I'm going to play slots just once. Possibly. I just wanted to see how it is. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, let's see. Select a machine. I had a, being used. Another god, Hades. Zeus dethroned. Ooh. Million god return. I think the Hades one I want to do. Number of spins, big bonus. I'm going to do a... Go in the 700 range. Assist time. I don't know what those mean. In order to play this machine, you need to download add-on content from the PlayStation Store. Really? Really? Alright. I'll do that off-stream, guys. Because uh, apparently that. Uh, I'll have to try that off stream and see how it goes out. How it plays out. As long as it doesn't cost me actual money to buy, too. I mean, I don't mind gambling in slots, but I wonder if that add-on thing is just so that you can't save scum it. Is this the... I was in this store before. Okay, I know that. Keep running. And right down here. Oh, hey. Random dude. Please take one. No, you take one. Hmm? Is this a porno mag? A trip to Pound Town! Oh, God. Hey, what you got there? Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Whoa, hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on. You're older though, and you First were out. To call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Oh, is this a sex line? Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, I uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes, thank you. You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right, and uh, you're you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Ooh, your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free caller thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now uh, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meetup deals? So, how'd it go? Uh. <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? Oh, really, I swear. Look, sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Maybe it's not a she. Huh? Hello. Oh. oh. What the? Who the heck are you? Are you a uh, Daki Sama? Um. Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Pound Mates. <laughs> is, is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. 
Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Oh. Let's fight. Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. You're going down. Cool. Let's see. Palmates are powerful allies with a wide range of abilities, but call them in costs money. The price depends on the palmate, although your first call to each palmate is free. All right. I do feel that it's a little... I don't know. That felt a little off, though. Oh, etc. Poundmates. Gary Buster Holmes. First time is free. Gary Buster's coming. Call on the service of Musclebound Champion to pound enemies into oblivion, occasionally stunning those who survive. Sure. Are they, like, cost money summons, I guess? Wow. So it's a summon. You want sudden death or sudden death? In service with the power. I never really was a fan of uh, summons, really. Gary, bust your homecoming. That's actually a kind of neat weapon. Hey, free money. Tempered glass, cloudy pain, immaculate. All right. Moving up in the world. Hey, you get a level out of that too. That was weird. Yep. Holy shit! They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What? What's it gonna be? What? <laughs> We're sorry! Suds on bre- What? That- Whoa. Your that- free trial Wow. Is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay, then. Goodbye. Thank you for your help, Gary. And he just walks away. What the hell just happened here? Fuck if I know. Why is it gotta be so hard to get laid? Hound mates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. All right. I now have access to pound mates. The pound mate selection has expanded. Wow. Just wow. That's that, that's the only thing I could say. It's just wow. Uh, need help pounding your enemies? You can call Poundmates for a fee from your smartphone via etc. from the battle menu. The roster will grow as you progress through the main story or clear sub stories. Each Poundmate has a powerful ability at a premium cost and are ranked by increasing order of bronze, silver, or gold. With each tier being more powerful and more costly than the former. Some of them will have certain conditions and restrictions, like not being able to help out at night. Plan your strategy accordingly with these factors in mind. Or, you know, not use them. I'm, I'm not really, really a fan of that. I hope that I don't have to actually use them at some point. Other than that. Oh, wait, there's someone to talk to down this way. N no, hand it over already. Hand it over already. Huh? What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. What the you fuck? You lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting for me. Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. Huh? It's, 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 this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. <laughs> baby, don't cry. Don't what the hell's going on here, but... Looks like he might need some help. Of course we're gonna help out. Alright, guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? 
You his buddy or something? Sure. Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine. We'll take it by force. Good luck with that. Unless you're a super high level, and then in which case, no luck with that. All right, level 13. That's not too bad. You want to go? I got this. Pigeon rate it. This. Watch this. Yeah. Got a mysterious stone out of it. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Good for you. Fuck. Assholes, we won't forget this. Go away. Ooh, glad that's over. Yo. Hey, you okay? Hi. Thank you. You're very kind. I think you'd even... Hey, what's wrong? Don't go crying on me. Sorry for breaking down like that. It's been a while since someone's been so kind to me, so it really hit home. Nah, don't sweat it. I'm Kasuga. Masato Oshima. Thank you for saving me. Nah, I wasn't about to leave you hanging. I'd like to give you a little something as thanks, but all I have is this baby formula. <laughs> hmm? Baby formula? Is that for your kid? <laughs> yes, I'm a duly minted father of a son. He's a cute little guy too. But there's all sorts of things you need when you have a kid, and I figured I should start saving up for the future. So I've been working my butt off day and night. Yeah? Well, I'm single, so I don't know much about all that. But don't overwork yourself. Won't do, do you much good if you're dead. Kind of you say so, Kasuga-san. My wife would never say something like that. Your wife? Mm. Yes, she's been pretty cold to me lately. I'll come home from a long shift and she won't even say hi. She used to be so sweet to me. She even did all the cooking and cleaning and what have you. But lately she's been having me do the housework. I tell her I'm really tired from work, but all I get is a, you have no idea how hard it is to raise a child. She's always blowing a fuse. Mm. <sighs> Uh, I don't understand. We should be in sync when it comes to our kid, right? I just want my son to be happy. Sounds like he could use some advice. How about getting some rest? Have a heart heart with your wife or divorce her? Have a heart heart with your wife. You gotta talk over what's going on. Hey. It's important to work hard. But has your wife ever said she wants you to do that? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, I guess I never asked. Still, you've got to have money, right? Yeah, of course. I imagine having a baby is pretty tough. I mean, his whole future's in your hands and you can't even understand what you're saying yet. Sure, work can be tough, but I bet there's some kind of emotional struggle going on too. Emotional struggle? Yeah, being a parent's a huge responsibility. Showing that responsibility by yourself is probably a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, kindness went up, yay! I'm sure you'd want someone who'll listen. S safe to say your wife wants that from you. Just like how you came to me for advice for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're really something, Kasuga-san. For a single guy, you sure know a lot about parenting. <laughs> yeah, well, I never had parents. I was born in a, a massage parlor, so I was raised by the staff there. As I got older, I learned about all the people who took care of me. You know, changed my diapers or whatever. Maybe it's thanks to them. Is that right? To have been born at a massage parlor? I guess people can come from just about anywhere. Uh, the idea of facing my wife, though, just the thought alone scares me. <laughs> Baby, don't cry. <laughs> you hear that? Could it be? It's coming from in the here. You think it's just like you, Kasuka-san? There's no way. Mm. Birthing a child into place without proper care is dangerous. We should step in and help. Mm. Sure, but what the hell are we going to do besides get in the way? Good point. Uh, I know. Let's make this baby formula and bring it to them. We don't know if the baby can drink their mother's milk yet. That means we're gonna need some hot water. Oh, and once the water cools off a little, we might be able to help wash the baby. Think you can handle the water? Sorry, think you can handle the waters, Kasuga-san? As for me, I think there are some towels left over at my work, so I'll go grab those. Where am I supposed to get hot water? Let's be back up here. I'm leaving it to you, Kasuga-san. Huh? Hey! I feel like I got the short end of the stick here. Okay, hot water, right. Could try a cafe. Alright, let's get to a cafe first.
fetch some hot water. All right, that's where we're supposed to be. Where's the nearest cafe? Uh, that's a tavern. I don't know if that counts. Zulong, uh, love magic. There's another thing I have to over there. Do I have to go all the way back where I was, man? There's taxi. Shogi. What's this? Well, screw it. For now, I'm going to say let's try the tavern first. Does it show up? Okay, good. It shows on the map. For a second, I thought it was going to be in the overworld. We'll try the tavern first. If that doesn't work, then we'll try a cafe. I'm not bothering with the people that I could fight. Can I get in there? Can you move? Oh, yeah. This won't. Yeah, they're not going to have hot water here, are they? It has to be an actual cafe. Alright, let's uh, try somewhere else here. Highway, Yun's food, harp or light, <clears throat> pocket cafe. Wait, he wants me to go this way. Okay, we're gonna have to fight our way, but that's all right. Yeah, slots are over there. Out of our way, we're important. Okay. Yeah, get up there. <laughs> oh, you're perfect. I think I hit one other per yeah, two other people, good. I messed up the timing. Oh wow, that was different. Th knife throwing. Alright, we had sneak attack. Yeah, we already learned that we can't do that. Out of my way, I'm important. Oh, a rambling man there too. Let's go. Take your best shot. Here. I don't I think it's only gonna go for people in a row, right? Oh no, it does hit the sides a little bit. Very good. They're only level 9. Okay, you're done. And bam! Keep going. Out of my way. I'm important. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, Pocket Cafe. We also have someone to talk to here, too. Well, what do you... First... I need hot water for that baby. Maybe I can ask for some. Sup? Hey, there's been a childbirth nearby, and they need some hot water. Think I could trouble you for some? That's quite serious. I'll prep some right away. Just, just a moment. Sure, thanks. Hot water. Alright, got the hot water. Better head back to Oshima. Welcome to the pocket cave. What can I get for you? Uh, it's just a general food thing. 
Ordering certain companies from menu, you can get create combo moves, which get bonus advantages in battle. At some point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that, but I think I'll look it up first ahead of time, and then we'll try like one at a time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Learn how doors work. All right. Uh, first things first. Let's go there because there's a conversation there. Used game lover. You know that moment when you buy a used game and it already has data on it? There's so much personal history, man. Think about it. Yeah. I don't know if this is the same thing here. Hold on. Officer, Officer Lone looks hilarious. Let's go see it right now. Sure. What happens when we go to the Avengers Film Theater? I might knock out mid-movie. It always happens to me. Ah, oh, that was a great nap. This place is great. Okay, let's see. Uh, I slept like a baby. Hmm? A nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect when you need a nap. All right. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie, though. What the well, fuck? that makes two of us. What? <laughs> a movie for a nap. Vintage film theater. I guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. If we're not an inn, you know, have a little respect, huh? Ah, this is a classic, too. Jaws? Old Cinema Paradiso. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in house. No, oh, well. Uh... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set don't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment. An ever-fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. It can be. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though, anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Okay, a free movie ain't bad. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Alright. Well, How's the function of this? Here, so I might as well. Excellent. Yeah, I'm just waiting. Wait. There's a baby, you know. Getting, getting birth. I could watch a movie first. Yeah, baby being born. Let's watch a movie first. Then, by the time it's done, that hot water is going to be cold, but that's okay. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robo Cook. Half culinary drama, half gunslinging action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again and never get tired of it. You don't say. <laughs> Wait, you're going to watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. I'm thinking this guy built this place just so he could sit around watching his favorite movies all day. Hmm. Still, I guess this is pretty cool. Well, it's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, I'm sure. Really? <laughs> oh, shit. 
This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. No, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. Is this going to be a new function for uh, an inn? I have no memory of who I once was. I don't know who I am, why I was born, family, friends, loved ones. I don't remember any of them. But I do know one thing. I live to cook. A Robocop. A badass cyborg who loves to cook. Alright, I'll bite. Hopefully I can stay awake. Is there something I'm supposed to do for this? It's what the? Sleepy all of a sudden. What the fuck? First day. What? 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 What am I? What? Make it to the credits without falling asleep. Test your reflexes by pressing the displayed inputs to stop those pesky rem rams from putting Kasuka to sleep. You wouldn't have Kasuka to fall asleep by the end of the movie, which will surely make him a better man. Is, is this like DDR? Defeating normal rem rams by pressing the displayed inputs. Rem rams uh, with a rapid can be defeated by pressing the input five times. Hmm. Alarm clocks, the chickens will heal you, but if you hit them, they'll seek a vengeance. If you press the wrong inputs and remembrance are present, you will take damage. Movies hit a point where they get especially boring, giving your foes rush mood. Golden Rembrams will appear who cause extra sleepiness. Deal with them quickly. Oh my fucking god, what the hell? Uh, what's going on? Time until the movie ends, Kasu's energy, the movie's name, and current score. Oh my god. Ram, ram, ram the ram... Ram the rem rams up, left, down, and right. Okay. Oh god, and the other four. Pause and quit. Oh boy. Circle. Down. Square. I'm glad I know the PS4 controller pretty well. Mostly. Though this is... Starting off easy, of course. It's gonna get harder. Circle. Oh, chicken, uh, yeah, I forgot. Chickens are good. Uh, uh right. Circle. X. Dear Lord. I almost nodded off there. First stage clear. That was the half point. All right. Oh, God. What now, though? Whew, made it through. Oh, I did? I won? Oh, thank God. Take this! Neo Galaxy Extreme Flambe! I know this is supposed to be an exciting scene, but him using that same technique over and over is gonna put me to sleep. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Alright, halfway point it was after all. Uh, final stage. Alright. Uh. I gotta remember, symbols are okay. If they have, hold some symbols, I mean. Circle, square, up. <laughs> this is so goofy. Oh, damn it! I saw it as I pressed. I'm better at fast reacting <laughs> to the button inputs. That was awesome. Was it? Okay. 
Could you imagine if that oh, was something getting good. you could do for you to keep yourself awake? This flavor. This warmth. My mother's cooking. I remember. The secret ingredient is salt. Oh my god. This is undoubtedly my mother's secret recipe. I'm going to continue cooking to my very last breath. Oh my god. He gets stronger by remembering his family. That's actually kind of touching. That was awesome. Alright. Alarm cocks, yeah. Hmm. My passion went up. Hooray! Alright, so movies are another way to raise our personality stat. That's Oof. not bad. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movies, good movie. Yeah. I probably would have got my. He's sleeping life next to us, isn't he? One of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics. Huh? He's totally sleeping. There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. That's why we're not seeing him. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. Yep. Oh, sure. Respect the classics. Saw that coming. But hey, you've got a personality up. And another thing I might do off stream, I don't know if anyone would be interested in watching that uh, on stream. Well, maybe I'll do them once in a blue moon. And then if I feel like I need to grind them at a later time, I'll grind the shit out of them. I don't know. Assuming there is a later time for it. All right. Well, anyway. I wonder if that movie thing gets... I was on the side. Dude. I was on the side enough. It barely eclipsed my leg. You know what? Oh, he only can do himself. Yeah, okay. Makes more sense there. Really? But I need to go here. Why is it showing me going that way? The fuck? Am I like... Why is it so hard to say, go here? That was weird, anyway. But we're gonna pass this and get to him. I had the hot water from before. Let's see if that mattered. Kasuka san, I'm really I'm ready. I'm already in my end. Did you get the hot yeah. water? Yeah, I got right here. I watched the movie first, but you know. Hot water and towels. Perfect, let's go. They are assuming quite a lot. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to? Huh? Ah! Oh God! Oh God! You're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. Baby fetishes. Oh. What the? Uh. You're the fuckers with the baby formula. Oh my god! That's the dude that threatened Oshima. What the hell's going on? Oh. Oh. Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye! Yeah. Not so fast, Chief! Oh my god. You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. The Did fuck? You in here and spoil our fun? No, we were trying to leave. It's hard to look threatening when you're in a goddamn diaper, dude. Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir. Oh. 
My god. Gondwara family patriarch. Oh my god. Oh, this is a Dragon Quest. This is Dragon Quest V uh, remix battle theme. Sort of, I think. Yeah. It's a sound alike. Yeah, it's a sound alike instead. That's cool. Heavy beat down. Let's just jam the at the square. Yeah, this is Dragon Quest 5 reference. Okay. Have fun with this. Watch this. Wow, that is a lot of money. Nice. Also good experience, uh, just random items there, there's no, no equipment. Go. Detective Determination, nice. Wow, though. Dude, do, do what you want and all, but wow. Not bad. Uh, apologies for barging in here, but this, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well... Actually... And then he tells him. I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your... Uh, fun. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. <laughs> Itchy's just fucking... These like, days, what? a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. What are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. <laughs> See, fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men trouble you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, this dude's the patriarch? I always think I saw everything the Yakuza world had to offer. Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step mm. out of the house for a quick errand, and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. You gotta talk oh, there. Come on, you'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child. All she does is nag at me. Oh god. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? No. Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? Uh, what? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Flots to look out for, no matter how small the task. <laughs> this Babies is heart oriented and weird. creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp. So we need a little backpack. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. We'll cry when we feel like it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I see. Good response. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Oh, please. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh... Yeah, you gotta work as a team. You should sit down and talk with your wife. 
Hey, that's I'm what sure he it's said. Hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Don't try to do everything yourself. Family's got to support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then, why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Wow. Join us, why don't you? Uh... That's right. No need to be shy. You know what? Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. Why, why not? This is not weird at all, guys. This is natural. Ah, that's God's work right there. Ah. What do you think? <coughs> Good shit, ain't it? It's gross as fuck, man. Formula is... Yeah, ain't half bad. What, really? Right, right. Boys, uh, two more baby bottles. What? The, the uh, yes, sir! <laughs> Oh, it's so weird. Let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Uh-oh. Boys, get this man a diaper. Oh, no. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Oh, no. Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. My passion went up because I wore a di what the fuck? The pound mate section has expanded. Oh my god. They're uh, okay, at least they did that part off screen. I would have had to uh censor it for one thing, and I don't know how I would censor something on a PS4. So Okay, that happened. Well, we just dawdled a lot. Why don't we go ahead and finally finish this? But before I do that, I gotta tell you... I like things that are completely and utterly absurd, and oh, this game goodness. has it in spades. I mostly came here just for the Dragon Quest references, but this... was the perfect amount of absurd to be hilarious. Like, the fuck? Oh, thank you, game. And thank you, Seventh Fleet, for this recommendation, too. My god. They charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? Hmm. And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. If it exists. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. Especially if we can't visit. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. Oh. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. 
I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. Oh, he probably is an asshole too. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad... That place doesn't seem I legit. I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Hmm. Yeah. The place did seem shady with the fact that you can't visit and all. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? <sighs> and by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? And depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it! Is saving Nanoha's dad. Oh, boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What, boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! Alright. But... That'll have to wait until next time. Uh, I'll try to get the slot stuff downloaded off stream, though, so you don't have to, you know, watch me download something. That seems silly. But, uh, yep, this will have to continue another time. Uh, maybe Monday. I'm not sure. It really depends how I feel. But I do have off for a while, so there'll be a little bit more of a... Uh, stop being talking about your itching. That's annoying. Uh, let's do that.
in any case though thank you guys for watching this i'm i'm glad i've come across this and also that why i'm glad i'm able to like you know stream and record this because i get to be able to share this with people instead of share the absurd absurdity instead of having to be like what the fuck is what the fuck's that about on my own you know like being able to see see something funny or hilarious is one thing but being able to share it with somebody is just makes it better and knowing someone's going to be seeing it is makes it even better so anyway thanks you guys for watching again next time should be sometime either monday or tuesday we'll see have a good one and i'll see you next time guys bye bye